Well, now that we've got a couple things built in our switcher panel, let's talk about recalling those snapshots and maybe even how to build some of them. Basically, a snapshot is a picture or a snapshot of the ME or the bank of the switcher I'm working on at that time that I can recall at any minute. Okay, let's go back up to ME2. And the first example we've shown you of a snapshot is the two box that I built earlier. If I come down here, I can recall a snapshot and I recalled my two box. Let's say now I want to make these two box boxes fly forward and fly back. I can do that through the resizer on this ME with snapshots. Let's go up now to ME3 key one. That's the uh, box on the left. And I will bring that up full. And you can see it's up full on size, but I still have a border and a crop. So I'm going to go to ME3, key one, resizer menu. And on my border, I'm just going to take my default recall and bring my border out. On the crops, I'm going to do a default recall of my left and my right crop. Now I have that box flown full over the other boxes. I'm going to store that as a snapshot. I hold down snapshot and I'm going to touch 14. So now I have snapshot 15, which is the two box, and I have snapshot 14 that comes full from the left box. But that just cut. I really want to see that fly and push full, okay? Well, that's really just what we call an effects dissolve that it's an attribute to my snapshot. If I hold down the snapshot button, I can actually touch effects dissolve and then restore my snapshots. I could do the same for 14. Hold down snapshot, touch effects dissolve, and restore it. Now when I restore and those snapshots, I get a fly between the different parameters of those snapshots. Another easy way to do effects dissolve or change the duration of that is to go to my uh, FlexiPad menu. If I go to ME3's miscellaneous snapshot FlexiPad menu, I can go to snapshot 14. You can see the effects dissolve on snapshot 14 was 30 and the, the effects dissolve on snapshot 15 was set at 15 frames. So I'm gonna change 14 down to 15 frames. Because this is an attribute of the snapshot that's already been turned on, I don't have to restore the snapshot. It just does that. And when I recall, I get that good series. Now, I'm going to recall snapshot 18, which all it does is change the priorities of my two boxes. So now, the right box is over the left box, and I can fly that full. That happens to be key three. So I'll come over to ME3, and we'll go to key three, and I'll do the same procedure. I'll bring that up full, and I'll go to ME3, key three, resizer, default my border, default my crop. Now that is up full. Hold down snapshot, effects dissolve, 16. Okay, and now I can go between 16, 14, 15, 18 to change my priorities, back up to 16. I can rename these. If I go to my snapshot menu, and I go to snapshots and I say I'm going to do that for ME3, which is where I've been working. Snapshot 14, I'm going to rename that left box. Bingo, and I'm gonna name 16 right box. And we can name 15 two box. Bingo. So now you see on my flexi pad, I'm, I'm doing exactly what it wants to do. Left box full, two box, right box full, and back. Left box full, two box, right box full. So that's one way to, ch to change the parameters of a, a snapshot, build a snapshot, store it, and different ways I can even recall that snapshot and make it look like I have an actual effects going. So now if I come down to my program preset bus, I want to do effects on program to these. So I can start on VTR5 and I can get ready to go to my two box before I'm going to fly it full. And I want to do that with one of my frame memory uh, clip transitions that we showed you earlier. Well, I have a snapshot that we stored that remembers what I'm going to do with that clip transition. If I were to recall that snapshot, oh, ME3 went right to line. I didn't want that to happen. What happened here is when I stored that snapshot, ME3 was online and that snapshot remembers that bus and what was going on. So what I really want to do is 
put a cross point hold on so I can recall that snapshot setting up my frame memory clip transition at any time. And I don't have to worry about it changing what I have on the line. So the fact that it took ME3 means that snapshot had ME3 online when I stored it. We have right here in our cross point pad, cross point holds buttons that I could turn on or off. And those are manual cross point holds. I could turn for each bus, A and B bus. So I can go turn that on for the A, turn it on for the B. And now it doesn't matter where I'm at and where I want to be. If I recall that snapshot, I'm set up to do my transition effect to anything I want to go to. Okay. Now I can say, okay, I want to go to ME3 and I can transition to ME3 on program. I can now even change the effect that we recall to have a whole different effect in my uh, frame memory clip because the cross point holds are on and come off it with a different effect. Okay. Now that is manual cross point holds. I have to remember to turn those off if at some point I want to recall something where I do want it to remember, right? So I'm going to turn those off because another attribute of a snapshot is that I can put a cross point hold on as an attribute on any bus for each one of those program preset uh, snapshots. So if I go to the program preset menu and the miscellaneous snapshot menu, there is my flexi pad. And we're talking about number seven. I want the A and B bus to have cross point holds. I just added those attributes to that snapshot and I didn't have to put them down here. I could do the same thing for eight. I could make the a, background A and the background B bus now have cross point holds. Now these snapshots, I can recall anything I want on those snapshots. I'm not worried about them changing my A, B bus. And I could wind up going and affecting to anything I want. And let's go back up now to our two box, right? Now my two box is online. I could preview it also and I could fly left box full. And I can fly back to the two box. All that that I've just shown you are snapshot recalls with effects dissolves, cross point holds, and the like. Now, if I were going to come and do another effect, let's come off of this, transition back down, and I've got my ME back up here. Another example of a snapshot on this ME is, um, or a recall on the ME, can um, be a shot box. Now, a shot box takes multiple snapshots or multiple snapshots and effects and recalls them all together at once. Okay. If you remembered earlier, our CG, our CG effect, we actually have to recall a snapshot on the ME for that. And we have to recall a snapshot on the user region to call, to recall the proper still stores that are helping us to produce that uh, on, up on that ME. So if we go to their shot box menu, you could see how a shot box looks. This is every region of the switcher that I can do a recall of either a snapshot or an effect. So if I came down here, I have uh, my a, a shot box that we've named CG border. And it's going to, on ME3, recall snapshot 12, right? And on user 7, it's going to recall snapshot 15. User 7 region is going to recall the proper frame memories that I'm going to use to execute the effect. And the ME3 snapshot is going to set up my a resizer with my CG border and all the remembers of the size, position, and aspect of that. Um, and I'd be able to do two recalls with one press of a button of a shot box, okay? So if we did that and we're on here and I want to affect that, first thing I'm going to do to the ME is I don't want to go to the two box now. I'm going to go to the CG border and that sets it up. It recalled the proper stills and it recalled the proper snapshot on that ME um, to execute the effect. And now I can use the effect here and go to it and I've added that background. Let's go back here and come off of it. Now I can also do another shot box for a similar uh, farm look on this ME. And I can go again, I'm going to recall multiple snapshots. So there's my ME. I'm going to train and look at a frame that I did with the same CG border effect. I've just changed this, the still stores that are feeding around her and the parameters of the ME and the uh, resizers so that she's full frame. And again, I can come down and change my effect to get out of that and do that. And I've affected to something completely different. I really have only used the resources of two of these MEs. And most of all, this has just been a snapshot or a shot box recall and a snapshot recall. Again, shot boxes, multiple snapshot recalls at once. Shot box can also recall snapshots and effects. 
at the same time. So I can recall an effect and a snapshot. If I affect it off of this again on the ME, on this ME3 right here in preview, if I were to recall my two box again, I actually have a timeline effect that's been recalled and a snapshot that recalled the two box. So again, change the effect as I go to it. I can affect to it with a different effect. And now when I hit run, I'm running a timeline and controlling the DME to bring in a whole other source. So most powerful part of the recalls, snapshots. They can have effects dissolve and make it look like you have a timeline effect. You can do multiple snapshot recalls at once with a shot box. And I can do a shot box that also recalls an effect timeline on a DME with a snapshot on an ME. All that being done, and I can just change the different effects as I go between that ME and my program bus back and forth. So to summarize, recalling, we have snapshots. We can recall snapshots straight, or we can recall them with attributes like effects dissolves that make it look like we're moving things through an effect on the timeline. If I need to recall multiple snapshots, I do that through a shot box. So for one button hit, I can still recall multiple snapshots or snapshots and effects at the same time.